and welcome back to Larissa's Kitchen. Let's cook something. our summer and fall on some much needed remodeling projects. And just like you, we experienced empty shelves and long lines. The one thing I never ran out of completely during all of this was flour, so I was able to continue to make sourdough bread. And with very little else to buy, we started making a lot of sourdough French toast for dinner. And that's what we're making today, so let's see what we're gonna need. I'm just making two slices of sourdough French toast. So aside from our sourdough, we'll also need one egg, a quarter cup of milk, two to three tablespoons of sugar, about a teaspoon of vanilla, and just a little bit of salt. Now I'm whisking it in this large container because I'll be able to soak both my slices of sourdough bread. All right, we're starting with the egg. And remember, when you crack eggs, you crack it on a flat surface and one sharp wrap. That way you don't have to worry about getting pulverized eggshells in there. That was probably an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm taking my slices out of the middle. This is day old sourdough. You can use completely fresh. Okay, about a half inch thick. And then just both these go in at once. And I'm gonna leave these in here until they soak up pretty much everything. Yes, I did get a new toy. I have an induction burner. And you just have to make sure that the bottom of your pan is magnetic. We're gonna be cooking this on medium. All right, it's pretty much ready. And that took about 20 seconds. I think this is done. I like my French toast. Yeah, it's definitely done. I like my French toast on the underdone side. So adjust your cook times appropriately. it's time to give our French toast a taste. And as you can see, Jilly poured my cup of coffee. So it's so full, I can't even lift it up to drink it. Let's give this a taste. Oh, the crust on this, it's so chewy because it's sourdough. Let's see if I can get through this. Get some delicious pure Canadian maple syrup, thanks to Jim Littler. Mmm, I'm gonna be chewing forever. Perfect. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you.
If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.